Hello everybody, welcome back to another um, Review Wednesday, and today, this week, is going to be called Mock Review Wednesday, because of course, I'm doing it alternating, so like, like last week it was a set mock, it was a set review, then this week is going to be a mock review, so and so. So today, I'm going to be reviewing my submission to LEGO Ideas, which I have to say, it has not gone through the monetization stage yet so i'm still waiting for it to actually get uploaded onto lego ideas but please be sure to actually follow me on lego ideas so then you get notifications of like when it does pop up so anyway, today we're going to be reviewing three lego scanners the what i call the r730 the r580 And the R620. All V8s, obviously. I mean, who doesn't want a V8? <laughs> so, start with smaller stuff with the R580. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is an R so-and-so? Well, the R, for a Scania, is what the engine make is. And the number is how much horsepower it's got. So this has got 580 horsepower as a V8 engine. <laughs> Um, all of you, all of you lorry nerds out there will know will know what I'm going on about, especially about Scania. Um, so this was the first ball nose design I did. Um, it's a it's a seat, it's a day cab, so it's only got one seat or two seats, whatever. It's got no bed. It's got no actual interior. It's steering wheel and gear stick. That's about it. Now. The, when I submitted two Lego ideas was different because now I've actually raised up the, these little horns because they were on just a one by one stud, but now I've raised them up a little bit more. Which is okay, I guess. Starting from the front, it doesn't have the original Scania, Scania V shape on the front like like this one. Because it's like the first design I did. But. I do like it. <laughs> it, is still, it still looks just as good. Um, what I really don't like. Are these notches that have been cut out. But I don't really know what to do there. So I decided to, to just leave them. Um, it is fully curved over the top. And it's also got, got these nice two intakes or something. I don't know. Just detail. There's a truck outside just blowing his horn. I I hear him every day. I don't know where the head he's from. <laughs> but anyway, right. It's got white wheels because that's all I could find. Um, it's got two steps up. Imagine a door being there and a third step up. It's got a a fuel um a fuel tank. Ta. Oh. Names, words, think. <laughs> Well, whatever, a, a fuel, a fuel, something, <laughs> a filler upper hole, <laughs> it's also got a little gauge there, and also, what I've done, so I've added these, if I can get them out, these little cones as well, got four of them, two on each side, Of course, it's a V8. We got two nice fat stacks up on the back, and of course, the actual um, drum is able to move up and down, and it doesn't rub on the shovel. Rubs on the tile there. You've got some. Controls on the side there, so say that, that this is probably for probably probably sp speed control, and this is for probably like dipping up and down or something. I don't know. I've even including I've even included a hitch on the back, just like all of my other trucks. And to so we got a bucket in there, and of course the shovel. 
two more lights, a bit of side detail. And that's probably it. And also some lights on top. That's it. You've got some lights on top. That's literally it for this truck. Now onto the R620. Right, so apart from my... If I can go find it. Hang on. Be right back. <laughs> Oh crap, didn't even pause it. Oh, anyway, right. So then, right. Apart from this truck, this one is one of my favourites. I mean, this, this one is one of my favourites. I mean, it's got no interior, which I'm still yet to do, but just the, the external stuff is what I really like about this. I mean, the lights, uh, chevrons. And then, sorry, we got the... Nice big V8 logo on the back with nice two stacks. I mean, I, I designed this truck well. I mean, I am also, I, I can put interior in there. So I'll probably do that soon. But I, I love this truck. I love this truck. But I'm not talking about this one today. I'm talking about this beast. So again, another ball nose, as they all are. Um... So it's right, start from the front we've got some nice blue lights. Got a, a bear bumper. Another nice exhaust intake stuff on the front there. Go down to the side. Got all white wheels to match the truck, which is cool. We got steps up. Imagine a door there, so that'll be three steps up probably. It's got another um fuel fuel cap and a um gauge. Got a nice um air deflector up the top again v8 two big stacks and i and i found these stickers on a on this brick and i thought i might as well use them on the back just you know a bit of detail got the plain hook hitch as well this side this side's a bit plain but oh well um more steps but this truck is all about the interior if I can get it off in one piece. Alright. So beside there, starting from the front, we have a steering wheel with a camera focus. Nah, okay, whatever. With a gear shifter, We've got a nice big seat back. We've got the all important coffee mug. Some biscuits, coffee, and a nice big bed. That's literally it. But it's a cool interior. And it did take me a while to actually design it, so please don't be pissed. <laughs> but it's not exactly the best design. I mean, these, these stacks keep on popping out here. So I'll probably overlook that sometime. That's about it. So on to the R730. Okay, right. So the R730 is one of Scania's strongest trucks. Most horsepower, most torque, um, and to actually cope with um, the engine, I've added a nice big intake on the top. <laughs> I just had them lying around, and I thought I might as well. I was going from the front. Yes, it's got the just like the R six twenty, but instead in grey, it's got a nice big Scania V, V ish shape. Nice big black bumper, good grills. It's got a nice shape over the top. And to side, again, probably about three steps up. It's got a nice fuel gauge, fuel caps. I'm I'm just rushing this now. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just like trying to get this video in a nice time. Anyway, um, it's also got the coupling hitch, bit of design, bit of detail on the back. Nothing much. I saw that and I thought might as well. More steps. Just the overall look of it, you can tell it's a Scania. Going into the... Right, so first off, it's slightly bigger, so we actually fit a seat in there. Come on, camera. That'll have to do. Steering wheel. 
got a an actual seat. No gear stick, I'll probably add one in soon. But it but it's got fully carpeted floors or whatever. It's got a coffee maker. Please ignore this tile, that's the only one I could find at the time. Got biscuits, coffee, looks like a drink in there as well. And also a TV screen. I I had to. Nice big bed. It's got a nice big bed as well. I'm sorry, I stutter and I can't talk. So this was a review. Uh, camera. It's a review of my of my entry to Lego Ideas. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment anything you want. Please go and follow me on Instagram at Benny's Train and Truck Spotting, where you'll also be able to find my personal account if you want to know more about me. Um, please go subscribe to me on YouTube, um, my other channel, Benny's Train and Truck Spotting. Um, and also please support this when it comes right when it finally comes out on Lego Ideas. Please support it. As much support as possible would be absolutely amazing. I don't care if I win. I just... <laughs> it just would be nice to, to try and actually get somewhere with these models. Because I've got so many of them. I know that there is one... Actually, don't know. You can go search for yourself, actually. <laughs> nah. Well, well, this video is going to end anyway. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.